Hello, gorgeous. I hope you are well, vibing high, and living your very best life. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, please like and subscribe as we are building this channel. And everybody who has, thank you so very much. Um, you mean the world to me. I looked this morning and um, we're at 5,500. And so five, five babies, lots of change coming, good change coming, right? Something really big is coming for all of us, coming soon, something good. Believe it, believe it, it's going to happen. If you would like a personal read, you can visit my website and video reads are back up. Um, I am almost booked for the week, but um, you can book out into next week. Of course, it's kind of getting to that and I'm so blessed, but I, I can only read so much in a day. So <clears throat> um, if you would like a personal FaceTime read, you can do that by visiting my website and looking at my schedule or messaging me at scorpio.com or scorpiopriestess222 at gmail. You can chat with me on my website if you um, wanna talk. Um, with that being said, Let's hop into this energy. Uh, if you are interested in joining a group for people in separation, you can do that by um, also the link in the bio or emailing me, but um, hit the description of the video and hit more and you will see the Facebook link. And everybody who has joined, you all are such great people. You are really, really um, so supportive to one another. And I've been so busy with the holidays and everything. Um, I have not had an opportunity to um, get on and um, read every day, but I am going to start um, making time to do that. It's very important to me. And um, those who want to join my spiritual um, practice coaching group, um, I am slowly reaching out to you all today and tomorrow, everybody who I haven't reached out to. So, um, I am excited for that. It's something that means the world to me. And um, I'm making some adjustments in my reading schedule um, because I wanna take time out to do this. My goal is to be a um, spiritual coach. Um, so if you all have goals for 2023, write them down, start writing them down, start really thinking about what you want, where you wanna be this time next year, write, write down a few things, fold up that, um, that paper, put it under your pillow, put it somewhere and put it out there into the universe. Start taking steps to do that. Um, and that is law of attraction manifestation. Um, the universe will find a way to bring that to you. It is not up to you to know how, but it will come to you, right? So I do have some messages here from my meditation. I was hearing sunshine. Okay, so I don't know if somebody um, calls you sunshine, you call somebody sunshine, but I will say that I feel that sunshine is coming back because I also was seeing um, tornado clouds, like a tunnel, like a tunnel cloud, and um, I feel like things have been, you know, like a tornado, possibly in your relationship, possibly in your life, Scorpio. It's like I was seeing clouds and then like debris. I, I, I feel like it's just been one thing after the next, like everything is going up in, in, in the tornado cloud. And that is because the universe will take from you what no longer serves you. I've had many, many tower moments in my life where I could not understand why at the time. And then, um, Later on, it, it all makes sense. So um, if you aren't understanding the reason now, I promise you, you will someday. You will understand why. Um, now, for some of you, you may be too young to remember the song, No Diggity, No Doubt. I'm hearing that. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, what is that? What is that song? And then I was like going with the beat and it's like, play on, play on. Play on, play on, no diggity, no doubt. I used to love that song. <laughs> I thought I was a player when I was young. So, uh, yeah, I was never a player. But um, that song is playing in my mind. Play on, play on, it, really the beat, mm -hmm, that part, right? So if maybe you like that song, maybe you've been dealing with a player. Um, 
but I also heard April. So something could have happened in April. Something could have happened. Um, somebody's name could be April. Um, something could be happening in April. Now we have loneliness on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we are doing how does your person feel and what will they do next? Um, loneliness on the on the bottom of the deck. I know that I am never alone, Scorpio. You are never alone, baby. I feel like your person could be feeling quite lonely right now as well. I feel you both feel lonely without one another. Um, so let's get into this energy. Holy Spirit, please tell me, how is Scorpio's person feeling? Trying to trust their intuition, right? Trying to trust their inner voice. They have an inner voice guiding them, and um, they're trying to trust that. This person could be trying to build healthier relationships, but filled with pride, filled with indecision, very indecisive, um, trying to figure their self out, which way to go, right? I, I feel like this person maybe doesn't have the most healthiest relationships around them. Maybe they are trying to build healthier relationships, um, but they are very prideful, this person. They certainly um, love their self. They love their self a little too much. Well, on the outside, right? So two overall energies here, very soon, clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now, baby. And again, I, I was feeling called to talk to you about manifestation, guys. It's very important that you all understand that in 2023, what you want, it will come to you. You are all in a manifestation period. You just are like, I can't stop picking up on it. There's something about um, you being in a period right now where you are rapidly manifesting. So um, decide what you clearly want so, so the divine can bring it to you. Now, know that you can't manifest a person. You can manifest traits. You can manifest things like that. So if your person um, has all the traits of a person that you want and you start manifesting certain traits, you you know, could possibly manifest them back. But the thing is, is you need to to stay in the present moment. Stay in today, right now. What are you doing in front of you that will keep your vibe high and keep you happy? You don't want your vibe to go low. You don't want to be sad and depressed because you are rapidly manifesting and it will just keep picking stuff up in the tornado, right? It will just be one crap thing after the next or you will manifest the same person different meat soup so try to change your vibration in some way um, but there's a strong magnetic attraction between you and your person a very strong magnetic attraction that you both share you both feel drawn to one another now maybe that's why i was seeing a tornado maybe it's like you're both like a you know drawing one another in you're it's just constant and energy energy shift right you're always pulling away and coming in and pull one's pulling one's pushing one's pulling one's pushing could have something to do with energy on why i was seeing a tornado as well so we have some messages here the way we left thing haunts me i try to push it away so your person here tries to push away whatever has happened um at the end of your relationship and i do have some energy pulled out and it looks like there was a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of competition, a lot of strife um, here. And um, I feel like, you know, they're having a hard time doing this. They're having a hard time um, uh, pushing away these thoughts because you are always in their dreams, they're saying. Scorpio, I dream about you all the time. I can feel your energy even when we're apart. So they still feel you. I didn't even see that there. Um, the the torn the energy can could be constantly swirling. You know, like a tornado. It's just like something's chugging up too. Something could be getting ready to really happen. I am so happy when I'm around you. So they have a lot of joy, a lot of a lot of fun when they're around you. But whatever is going on here is clearly the problem. They do look at you as the empress, as the emperor, right? You could have children to this person. Um, you don't have to, but they put you above the rest. I'll tell you that. And if you are in the emperor empress um, status, congratulations. You can manifest 
anything you want, anything you desire. The empress or the emperor sits on their throne and manifests what they want, but they also go out and get that shit, right? They don't just sit around and allow things to fall apart. They take steps to bring in. If something leaves your life, it's because it's time to manifest something better into it. And that that's people too, unfortunately. If this person has left your life, there is a reason for it. There is a reason. There is lessons in the pain because I feel that your person and you are in the nine of wands, very beat up. You've had a lot. A lot has went down. A lot has happened between you all. You're both wounded. You may have had a terrible childhood. Your person definitely looks like they've had some things happen. Again, I don't feel that they have very healthy relationships in their life. They're in a very masculine energy. Tell me about the five of wands. Why does why does Scorpio's person feel the five of wands? Very masculine energy and and um, yeah, they're trying to be flexible. There was a lot of change um, that around, there's a lot of change around this person. A lot of things going on. They have, again, they're dreaming about you. They have very strong feelings for you, right? A lot of desire for you. They're trying to distract their self. They're stressing. They're prioritizing. They're staying busy is how they're feeling right now. They are trying to at least right? They are trying to um, figure out here what they want, Scorb. They're very guarded and very insecure. Like I said, I feel this person is very prideful, but actually insecure, right? Do you ever meet one of those people or this is your person where you can tell the reason why they act the way they do is because they're really insecure. So maybe they were very jealous. Maybe they were very controlling. Um, maybe they were, uh, you know, always out there um, hooking, having sex only with people. Now, some of you may have been in a sex only relationship with this person. Some of you, though, um, this person could have been having sex only um, relationships behind your back. And this is what the five of wands is. I mean, who has sex only the, on the emperor? Who? I mean, the empress, first of all. Who leaves the empress or the emperor at home to go have sex only events? But, you know, that's besides the point. Or who just wants to have sex with an empress or emperor? I mean, it's terrible. It, it, this person needs to, to get a grip here. You, you, you are coming up very strong. You are... Um, this is the best energy anybody could ever be in. Um, you're loving, but you're also resourceful and you're abundant in your own right. And like you have so many good qualities, honey. It's this person and their insecurities. It really is. Now, maybe some things went down in y'all's relationship because maybe they made you feel insecure, right? Um, but there could be age issues as well. You could be older, you could be younger. The third, a third party could be older or younger. Now, I don't see an actual third party yet, but I do see competition. So there could have been issues with that. Your, maybe your person was out there sleeping with young, young chicks and dudes or something of the sort. I, I don't know why I felt that from this card. Um, and it's all from past trauma. This person deals with past trauma, deals with heartache, deals with things that have went on. Did I not get tarot cards out? Oh my gosh. Let me see, you guys. Yeah, I guess we'll use these because these are the easiest ones for me to grab. So this person is dealing with insecurities, is dealing with past trauma, things from their childhood. Um, I really felt that at the beginning for some, you know, whatever reason, I felt like your person here does not have healthy relationships, wasn't ever, didn't ever witness happy times at home, like in their family unit, doesn't know how to be a woman or a man, like, you know, doesn't really have anybody to um, look up to in their life. So tell me about the 901 spirit. Why the nine of wands? Why is this person so beat up? So this person is like a real a, a wounded warrior, guys. They're very wounded. Ugh. They're obsessing here in the devil, right? They're obsessing over should they come back? Shouldn't they come back? Yeah, they're watching you. They're drama and they're in introspection, but for, they're they're doing all of this. Look how this came out. Devil 
Knight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. This person here is obsessing, is being dramatic about your ending, is obsessing about walking away, about why they walked away. Was it the right decision? Is it not the right? Like they, they just don't know. They don't know if they've made the right decision. They're really confused about it and it's making them wounded. This person here is really going through it. They really, really are. Um, and I feel like um, they know they did not bring you balance. They didn't bring you, you were treated unfairly. And this is another reason why they obsess over it. They're either obsessing about getting back with you and it's making them feel really wounded or they're obsessing over the ending about something that happened between you all. Or maybe there was something you said, Scorpio, that has made this person feel, you know, maybe you told them what time it was and they're not used to that, right? That's very possible too. Um, yeah, they're trying to figure out what they want in introspection here. And I do feel there's third party energy. I just, I feel there could be a third party involved or there is a um, multiple third parties involved. This person here, again, clarifying the Empress is the Nine of Pentacles. So they look at you like, like you are very abundant, very um, good on your own. You may be appearing to them to have it all together and not be in pain, right? They may think, you know, you're getting over this. The Ten of Swords, conclusions. There was a lot of pain here. There was a lot of betrayal here. They know that they hurt their empress or emperor. They're aware of this. But they are in the hangman right now, trying to gain enlightenment, trying to gain some kind of um, clarity on what they should do. Tell me about the five of wands. Why the five of wands, spirit? My goodness, these are really lots to say this morning, guys. Your guides have lots to say. Yeah, so, um, coming straight out the deck, the king and queen of swords here, my loves, right? So you're both cold and cut off to one another at this point. This person puts you in, in competition and you're not going to go give them a, a hug and a kiss when they have did whatever they've done here to you, when they've left you the way they, they've left you. So you are also... Um, in the Queen of Swords right now, um, you know, trying to uh, make mind over heart decisions because they've hurt you. They've hurt you a lot. Um, I do feel your person is planning and, and they're about to start bringing in clarity. They're understanding now, right? Um, I try to read what the tarot card, every tarot deck can have some different meeting, meanings and we have planning and understanding here, right? Planning and understanding. And this is them understanding that they put you in competition. Communication coming in here in the three of wands, right? So they're about to communicate and tell you that they have, now they understand. Now they understand what they've done to you, what they've um, put you through. They're feeling it all. It's almost like the divine is making this person person feel every moment of what they did to you when they put you here in the five of wands, right? There could be a lot of people involved. I, I, I sense that there's more than just a third party um, lover. There could be friends and family that are very unhealthy too, very toxic people around. Um, this all could have went down for some of you at work. This all could have went down. You could have been at work when you found something out, or there could be people at your job here that are not the greatest. Um, who were working behind your back. And I feel um, that your person now is getting hip to this. They understand they didn't treat you fairly. They're, they're understanding now. Whatever they're seeing as well is making them feel like you are like be off with their head. And to be honest with you, it is making them um, want to communicate even faster because they are afraid that you are done with them. And for somebody like this, that's kind of the wake up call they need. Now you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces with a Capricorn. Uh, we also, yeah, we have a lot of air here, right? We also have some earth, Taurus, Libra, and a little fire. So the thing is here is this person um, has been cold and cut off to you, but they are now receiving downloads. 
They are now receiving downloads from the divine. This person could have been a very intelligent person, very sharp, very um, quick-witted, you know, uh, a quiet confidence. There was something about this person that really attracted you to them. Um, so we have a couple messages here. I know I can easily go into victim mode. I'm trying to overcome that. It's been a pattern. I am brokenhearted that we aren't together. My heart aches for you, but I won't let you know that because they're in the King of Swords. Whatever whatever sign they are, they are showing up here as the King of Swords. Cold, cut off, disconnected, and disinterested. They don't want to let you know how much they miss you um, because you're coming out in the Queen of Swords as well, baby. So they feel like, you know, whatever happened here at the end, you had to stand up for yourself. You told them what time it was. Um, and we have another message here. I don't like the way we left things. Again, something happened here at the end of, of, of this. So many things unsaid, so many things misconstrued. Our ending caused me a lot of pain because it didn't feel like an ending, just pain. And and this person here, it, you know, I feel you feel the same way, Scorpio. I feel you're feeling the same exact way. Um, Y'all are mirroring one another big time. So what is this person going to do next? Well, it looks like they are focused on their pinnacle and in introspection, um, uh, really in self-discovery mode. And again, we have the three of wands. Now, um, I don't typically look at the three of wands as communication. I mean, it can be. So because this talks about communication, I'm going to, um, we're going to say the, the three of wands here is clearly communication. It's coming up twice. So what they're going to do next here is, is communicate with about working on things with you communicate with you about working, about working things out, about how you all can get around whatever happened here in the past. Because something here has went down um, that has left you both feeling all types of ways, however this ended in the past. What is this person planning on doing next, Spirit? They want to take your relationship to a next to the next level, right? Some of them may want to even even get married. Some of them may possibly want that. There's there's about to be a divine intervention, or there already has been. But your angels are asking you to um, pray, ask for help. The angels are about to intervene for you. The angels, if this is meant to be, if this is your story and it is meant to be, trust me, the divine will orchestrate a way for it to come together. Believe it. Trust it. This person is addicted to you, right? There's intense sexual chemistry between you all. For some of you, though, your person has a sex addiction. For others, this person is just addicted to you sexually, but they have destructive behavior. They have destructive behavior patterns. They're not always making the best of choices. And um, it really caused so much strife, so much pain because of this destructive behavior. What What is Scorpio's person planning on doing that spirit? Within a few weeks, within a few weeks, okay, um, is coming out strong. This situation or event will develop in a few weeks. So within a few weeks, we have wish, serendipity, right? Coming out with divine intervention, baby. So think about that. Like the angels are trying to orchestrate something. I do feel though, be careful. This person is still very low vibe. They are still not vibing high. They are still, they could be work. They literally could want to trap you in some way. For some of you, this person wants to make sure that they lock it down. So pregnancy, um, uh, you know, anything, getting pregnant, right? Like just be careful, especially if you're a man, be careful if they tell you they're on the pill or something, right? Make sure you are being careful. Um, but there is, 
it, they're navigating uncharted territory here, right? They're, they're worried about reaching out because they're very prideful. I do feel they're going, it's going to be perfect timing. It's going to be serendipity whenever or whatever happens when they come back in here, Scorpio, you're going to, it's going to be the perfect time. Maybe some of you are still in pain or still angry about whatever happened here at the end. And it's going to be right around the time you start letting it go right around the time you feel like, you um are ready to let this go so um what is what is the hermit spirit on why scorpio's person see guys i think this is a timeline here right so your person right now is in introspection in solitude hermit clarifying hermit um you both are i feel i feel you're mirroring one another i feel that's why we have um king and queen of swords three of wands twice right? You're both in introspection. You're both on a self-discovery mission and you're both trying to figure out which way to go. It's not just them, but they're being guided by their higher self. Hierophant here, what they're going to do next, I feel, is come out of this hermit mode, come out of this solitude because they're being guided towards you to come in and communicate and work on it. They want to bring some kind of security. They're listening to their inner voice here in the high priestess. They want to bring some kind of um, security to your relationship. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles spirit. Ace of Pentacles. Lots of growth. Somebody could be getting a new job here. You all could be manifesting new money. Your person could be too. Your person seems to be very focused on work. So maybe they just got a new job. But now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Stability. So they want to bring in some kind of stability. Now, they could be also um, working on um, a new job, a new project, bringing stability in their own life before they reach out. They could be trying to do that. They do seem to be trying to gain some kind of balance here or they're juggling, right? They could be juggling you and a Queen of Pentacles. But for a lot of you, this person is just, really focused on their bag and they want to get their self to a certain place before they reach out. They want to come in, you know, in a good place, which is good. They want to come in and be able to show you that they have changed that, that I don't know, maybe money was an issue between you all. Maybe you had more money than this person or something here where they want to come in and show you that they have, you know, um, enough money or enough security um but healing a lot of healing is taking place in temperance you're being asked to be patient here work on yourself and release this pain release the past go through a transformation your person here is going through a transformation they are releasing things to come in and communicate that's what they want to do but there's so much fear there's so much misunderstood um uh, actions between you both. You may have said things you didn't mean, Scorpio, because of the way they acted, or maybe you did mean them, right? But something here has got this person feeling very fearful to reach out. It has to be with why the way things ended. I feel the things ended extremely bad. And you, now they have no, you know, they're afraid to reach out to you because... Uh, whatever they said, they could have told you that they didn't love you, right? They could have said, fuck you, I don't love you anymore, or um, I don't want to be with you, or some mean, mean things, or you could have caught them, actually caught them in bed with somebody else, or caught them at somebody else's house, or just caught them with somebody. And so now this person is desperately afraid to come on in. This journey is teaching us one is teaching one of us the most important spiritual lesson, patience. So I feel this journey is teaching you patience, Scorpio. I feel you're the one who needs to learn patience because um, you want this person to reach out. You want to talk to them, but why would you want to when they are still in destructive behavior? They've got to go through this transformation, honey. They have to, or there's no reason to even um, reconnect because it's going to end again. This person needs to go through this transformation. They need to, to, to do some inner work before you all could be happy. When I look into your eyes, I see the universe. It activates me. 
So I feel like you have sparked this person's transformation, Scorpio. You have sparked them to start going through a transformation here in death. You are a very transformative person, right? You transform people. Sorry, guys. Woke up before the alarm again today. <laughs> I feel insecure and it's pushing me to grow. Yeah, this, this person here is filled with insecurities filled with insecurity. I felt it from the moment we started shuffling. There was something about this person's childhood that or something about what they see seen growing up that has really, really made them insecure. Um, maybe there's something about their self, their body, their features that they're insecure about, right? Maybe there's something that that's just unfounded fear or unfounded, but maybe they got picked on when they were young about something, or it could have been they got picked on about being poor for some of them and now they're really obsessed with money or obsessed with coming in here and showing you something about them you know um being mirrors for each other makes self-love so important i wish i was there to love you but if i'm not i want to love and nurture I want you to love and nurture yourself so what spirit is saying here is the more you the thing i say all the time and you are mirroring one another the more you love on yourself the more your person will love on their self and the better and the faster you all can come together it is just point blank period guys the more you love on yourself the more this person will feel that vibration and and you'll bring them you'll you'll come back together because they will love on their self more and and you all will have a energetic match so keep doing the inner work. Keep showing yourself love. Just be patient with yourself, right? This is just time for you right now, Scorpio, to really figure out your next moves, to maybe make some changes, to really heal and grow, and, and think about how beautiful it could be if all of your issues, you know, most of them, and most of your person's issues, you all dealt with them, and then you came back together. You could have an energetic match, and things would be like serendipity they will they'll be like a wish granted honestly guys so let's see if we can get some moon cycles or signs to close out the reading i really do wish you all the best of luck keep going keep vibing high keep doing you baby it's going to come together just the way it's supposed to pray as well spirit please tell me what are what are the most important moon cycles or signs here we have Aquarius. So, I am not alone. You aren't. You are not alone. You have the divine with you. You have the whole universe supporting you right now, Scorp. You are not alone. I boldly share my message and I'm finding my way through illusion. This person is finding their way through all of this misinterpretation tapeshin <laughs> all of it all of the fear all of the the haze the darkness they are trying to find their way through um and we have i boldly share my message because i feel like there's something this person wants to say to you but because of the ending because of how things went down they are desperately afraid to do that they are afraid to reach out I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Stay high vibe. Remember, you are winners. All I do is win. And then we're going to say the new one today. Out with the old and in with the new loving energy. Out with the old and in with the new loving energy. Say it to yourself three times a day. Mwah. Love and light.